Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you are and no matter the time, it's devotion time with Miss T. Hooray! In today's devotion time, we continue with our daily bread for kids. And our topic today is a talking donkey. Wow, I didn't know donkeys could talk. A talking donkey. And our Bible verse is from the book of Numbers chapter 22 verse 30. And it reads, The donkey said to Balaam, I am your own donkey. You've always ridden me. Have I ever done this to you before? Oh, wow. The donkey was asking the owner, whose name was Balaam, have I ever done this to you before? I wonder what the donkey did. Let's find out. Balak, the king of Moab, was worried. The Israelites had moved into his territory after defeating another country in battle. Balak was afraid that the Israelites would do the same thing to his army. So Balak sent messengers to a man named Balaam, who lived nearby. Balaam was a prophet, and Balak wanted Balaam to curse the Israelites. Balak thought Balaam's words would hurt the Israelites and protect his own army. But God told Balaam not to speak against the Israelites. Balaam was allowed to talk to Balak, but Balaam was only supposed to say what God told him. The next day, Balaam got his donkey ready for the journey to Moab. God was upset by something in Balaam's heart, so he sent an angel to stop Balaam. Balaam didn't see the angel, but his donkey did. One time, the donkey tried to turn around, but Balaam became angry and forced the animal to keep going. The next time the donkey saw the angel, it moved off the road and squeezed Balaam's foot against a wall. The third time the donkey saw the angel, it just lay down on the road. Oh, shame. Poor donkey. Then God did something amazing to get Balaam's attention. He made the donkey speak. After Balaam heard the donkey talk, his eyes could finally see the angel. God allowed Balaam to go to Moab, but God used Balaam to bless the Israelites rather than curse them. God wants us to obey him. When we are going the wrong way, he would let us know. Then we can choose to turn around and go the right way. I love this last part of the reading. He says, when we are going the wrong way, God will let us know. But it doesn't just stop there. We are the ones to choose We are the ones to decide to turn around and go the right way. And that is called repentance. Repentance means turning around and going in the opposite way, which should be the right way in comparison to the wrong way which we had been going. Now, it's amazing (laughs) to see a donkey talking There are lots of amazing things in the Bible, but this one tops them most. The donkey spoke and Balaam wasn't scared, (laughs) but God used that to get Balaam's attention. When the people of Moab came and asked Balaam, would you curse the Israelites for us? What were they really asking? They were asking Balaam to use his words to speak evil over the people of Israel. Now it brings to question, how do we use our words? Balak wanted Balaam to use his words to speak evil over the children of Israel. But God was not going to have it. God had blessed 
the children of Israel, and no one was going to curse them without his permission. So when Balaam went there, instead of using his words to curse the Israelites, God put words of blessing in Balaam's mouth and he spoke that over Israel. Our words are powerful and we need to be careful of the things that we say to one another. It's best not to use words that hurt people. In fact, I don't want to make it sound like an advice or I think you shouldn't say things to hurt people. No, I think God commands us not to use our words to hurt people. So we need to be careful with the words that we speak. We need to say things that encourage others, things that make them feel better, things that lift them up, not things that draw them down. Now, The part about repentance is very important. If we have used our words to hurt people and God tells us that, look, the things you said were very hurtful, what are you going to do about it? We have to make the decision to turn around and apologize and say we are sorry and make things right. Saying I'm sorry and doing the right thing afterwards shows that we want to honor God with our lives. Now, it's difficult sometimes, you know, to choose to do the right thing, especially when it seems others might laugh at us or others might make fun of us. But we need to remember that God is the most powerful being ever and he created us. So he is the one that we need to be afraid of, but not afraid in the sense of fear, but respect him and be obedient to him, no matter what other people think. So when you respect God and you fear God, you will choose to do the right thing, even though other people are doing what is wrong. Let us pray. Our Father, In heaven, we thank you for teaching us about the talking donkey. (laughs) Even Balaam did not want to obey you, but you used a donkey to correct him and to remind him that he needs to obey you. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will use the things around us to remind us to be obedient to you, no matter what it takes. Even if it means getting our books to speak to us and our pens and pencils, I know that you will use every means to get us to be obedient to you. And when you correct us, help us to decide to make the choice to turn around and do the right thing instead. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Our fun fact, most species of parrots can be taught to say words in the language of their owners. The Congo African grey parrot is one of the best birds for speech. Oh, look at that. Look at that. (laughs) Look at that. I wonder what I'll teach my parrots to say if I had one. I would probably teach my parrot to say the Lord's Prayer so he can be praying every single day. (laughs) Say after me, God's word tells me the right way to go. Yes, and when God's word tells us the right way to go, we must decide to go the right way. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion time. I'm really excited that you're here today. And until next time, take care of yourselves. Bye.